Unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. Yeah, every uh, every six months now, they got me going to the checkup with a urologist. Yeah, yeah, I was in there the other day, and, uh, and uh, waiting, 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 waiting. You know how it goes in these doctor's office. Finally, he comes in. He's got his chart in his hand. He's looking at it. He just looks up real quick. Hey, how's it going? I said, okay. I said, how's that blood work? He said, uh, everything looks great here, but... Uh, I'm gonna have to have you stop stop masturbating. I said what? I said what's it? And why is that, sir? He said, well, three reasons. One, I got a whole waiting room full of people out here. I gotta see. Number two, number two, there's so many minute hours and minutes in a day. And number three, I gotta do a digital exam on you. I said, I said, you know, you big pharma doctors are getting to be a royal pain in my ass. Yeah, guys, I conned Miss Daisy into buying me 40 more frames, Man Lakers. I got the El the Econo ones. Now, the Econo ones, uh, they have wax on them, but not a whole lot. So, yeah, I roll an extra layer of wax on. What I've discovered... I bought one pound of their wax. Uh, that stuff's getting pricey. What is that? 13 bucks now. Gee, man, the catalog says 10 something. Anyway, I got a pound of wax, and I found out a pound of wax will just about, well, it does. It, it does 40 frames. So this is how I buy them, 40 at a time with my small operation. You eat those up, you go get another 40. And, uh, yeah, and another thing that worked out really slick here is, uh, I bought another pot, a Walmart pot. This actually, this one is actually, this little cross pot is actually removable, see? This El Cheapo one that I got somewhere, it doesn't come out. But anyway, this had a bunch of settings. This thing was only 12 bucks. So, and when you're doing that that scrape and drain honey harvest thing, like I showed you the other day, it's it's nice, depending on the size of your operation, for my little operation, a little bit of honey I put up, this, this little two pot deal's great. And the reason I'm doing two pots is because you want, you, you want to strain this stuff. Because when you're doing scrape and drain, see how nice and pretty clean that is? That's because I put this ugly looking thing I've had forever for draining wax you put this here and what little little fine stuff see comes through that screen we don't worry about that because I'm rolling these frames out with this nice little roller right here this is a little th these come off too you can change these out you get these at Lowe's it's a little touch-up roller it's a small it's got a little it's got a little light uh, small nap on it this is perfect for this because you can dip it in one dip and I flap it over here and I put the roller up on this edge. I come down lightly now if you, with the first pass. If you don't go lightly, you're going to have a big gob. And then I come over, flip it over, do this. And then I roll here, not too heavy, flip it over. And you can do this, you can do the whole frame with one dipping of that. And I was able to do all 40 of these with that. So what you want to do when you're doing a scraping drain and you're scraping off all that wax off of those frames down to the center line of that plastic cell and use a wooden, do not put a metal tool on it. I can't tell you uh, enough about that. Get you a bamboo spatula like this when you're scraping those frames. Don't put a metal tool on there like a like a hive tool. You'll ruin that plaster cell. What you do is you knock off these little sharp bumps on there, and the bees don't like it. They won't. They don't want to come back and lay up on it. So anyway, yeah. So here you're scraping. You're you're dumping all this wax in there that you've done a scrape and drain, especially on if it's old brood comb and stuff. You're getting a lot of pupa skins in there. And there's crud in that wax. There's, you know, propolis. There's this and that in there. Slum gum. And so run it through this. And, and you have nice clean wax like that. 
and then uh yeah <clears throat> so you dump all your your cappings in here let it melt and you're gonna have them pupa skins and all stir it up with a stick to make sure they're all melted and then pour through your screen here and then all you got to do is hang it up okay you lose very little wax like this after you you've got it in here and you've dumped your you've dumped all your stuff in there you got bees floating in there pupa skins and all take your spatula and, and squeeze that wax down through that screen like this and you'll get most 99 then you can just drip uh, drip it off of there and then take it over smack it on the fence or whatever and it'll dump out all that nasty wax and slum gum out of there okay that's a list of quickie on that it's you know you can upscale this to whatever size you want uh you get large operation with this once you do that scrape and drain if you've got a lot of bees a lot of boxes get you a galvanized number two wash tub right dump all those cappings dump all those cappings in a large number two wash tub right and take out do not put it in the sunlight put it in a shade near the bees them bees will come in there guys watch your weather don't let it rain in there watch your weather get it in the shade those bees will come in there guys and dry those cappings dry dry as a chip They'll suck up every speck of honey and take it back to their colony. That's what's cool about it. You don't lose any honey doing this. Get those cappings good and dry, and then you can dump it in. If you've got a large, large amount, you don't want to fool this little bitty thing. You can get a uh, some buckets, some mop pails, galvanized mop pails. Take that same big tub that you did. Put water in it, and you can build a fire under it. With wood fire, you can build a, 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 a turkey cooker like this turkey cooker like that and heat that water up and set your bucket inside with all those cappings in there inside that water do not put it on direct flame heat it up and then pour it through so you can upsize this operation however you want it but let the bees clean up dry up all those frames you just scrape job throw them in a big tub and, and, and that way all the honey dripping is inside that tub. Take that out, let them clean all that plastic cell and frames off. Then when you get all your, your cappings, you run it through your strainer, the five gallon bucket like I showed you in the paint, paint strainer bag in there, five gallon paint strainer bag in there. Let it drip for 24, take it out, it's still gonna be wet, no problem. Dump it in a large container, kind of scatter it out, get it in the shade, so nothing melts and let them bees suck that stuff dry now you got beautiful dry cappings but you've got a lot of crud in there if you've scraped on old say brood frames or whatever you're gonna have pupa skins and whatnot in there then then you're gonna run it through you can get you can you can get screen galvanized screen make up a wood frame whatever you want make another one whatever size fits your contraption and you can you can do a lot you could do 30 hives worth of honey with this deal here I'm talking about. All right, we got to get out here. It's hot as Hades right now. I mean, I'm going to go, I know my limitations in this heat. I'm going to go as much as I can. I want to do a second round. Let's get in these hives. Let's see what a whole week's worth of chewing on these blue towels. This will be the second round of towels. Let's do one more round of towels. Everybody keeps asking me how do these, how they work and this and that. All I can tell you, uh, Florida Cracker, Gary, says they work great. Now, I'm doing, my formula is just slightly off from his, so this is all experimentation. Don't go running out there and doing what Steve-O's doing until we, until we see, you know, see what's going on for sure. I don't want you pissing away a bunch of money if you don't... Uh, you know, unless you're, you know, you got Joe or Hunter's money, money, you, you can do that stuff. But, you know, be careful. We got to see what's going on first. And then we will evaluate what's going on. I want to do, hopefully I can get through all these bees today. I may just gas out with the freaking heat. I don't know. 
uh, but there's always tomorrow, right? We can do maybe half of them today and the next half tomorrow, whatever. So let's, let's suit up and get her done. Alrighty guys, I've stripped down to my undies. I got my undies on. No, no, no uh, t-shirt, no nothing. Just a ventilated suit. Uh, Miss Daisy bought me two neck fans. I don't know. We'll see how they go. I mean, it's better than nothing, right? Oh, uh, here we got one out here in the boonies here. We got uh, three, three, five framers stacked up. Let's dig into this thing and see what's in here. See how bad they chewed up these towels. I'm kind of curious on these towels here. Wow. Holy crap. I could took seven, seven feet tall here. Could took. Yeah. I don't know how much oxalates is in that stuff. I hear Dr. Barry talking about oxalates and quite a few others out there, natural doctors, saying uh, oxalates ain't, <laughs> some people not good for them, and I'm probably one of them. Uh, yeah, I think Steve-O needs to stick with carnivore. Um, that seems to work for me. If you guys have problems with oxalates and their spinach, this would be a spinach, um, really high. If you go out there and pull up one of his videos recently on oxalates, and I went, I went and he's got a chart in there. He's got like four or five pages of oxalates foods, uh, high, medium, and low range in there. I went and burnt copies of them. And uh, I was quite amazed. I didn't. I never didn't even think about it. But I've had issues in the past: skin issues, uh, arthritic issues. Yeah. And uh, hey, it could have been the oxalates. I don't know. Check it out. Check out Ken Berry's uh, oxalate video. It, it might. Uh, it might surprise you what's going on there but uh, old steve oh he likes carnivore because you know i've got that plains indian bloodline in me and uh hey that's what we're designed to eat right uh when those egyptians come along and started pounding down all these grains i don't know what alien told them to do all that but anyway apparently that's all they had to eat and uh, it is just devastating on people, these grains. Because nature has a lot of ways of saying, hey, don't eat me, right? Don't eat me. Uh, and then they, these plants put out poisons. And you can, you can ingest them, but it may not go well for you. So just check out his video. I got to constantly keep you guys thinking about carnivore and stuff like that why because i care about you okay all right let's get into this hive and quit talking we're burning daylight Well, they bug out this. They bug out this thing plugged up here. There's still a couple openings on it. You, as you recall, I put these in last week. I see no beetles. I see no beetles here. I'm going to put this back in. There's a little mileage left on this.
Okay, they're ragging out these towels pretty good. Ragging out the towels pretty good. Let's dive down deep and see what's going on. No towels. No towels here at all. No towels here at all. So the, the little girls are quite busy. And this is completely plugged. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to put fresh barn downstairs and one up top from here. Because I saw a beetle. These, these girls are looking healthy. But we got another we got another week to go. We got this. We're going to put these towels on. I'm going to put three halves in here. Three halves. The entrance is over here. I'm going to put the towel back here. I'm going to put the beetle barn here. That way they can shred the towels and go like this on a 45 degree angle running it out of there. Same way here. This is a very good looking hive. There's plenty of elbow room at the top for these girls to expand. So this one looks really nice. We don't know where we're at with, um, with our alcohol wash, but let's get through this session of towels. And then we'll see what we got on, on an alcohol wash. Let me get this girl taken care of, and then we'll move on. I got a bunch of work to do. Okay, guys, some are chewing up the towels faster than others. Uh, yeah, this this top one here uh, looked like it, it wasn't hardly touched. This one here, half gone, and this one was just about two-thirds gone I just scrape them out I'm putting fresh ones in regardless yeah so anyway I guess it's just you know it just depends on the strength of the colony and all that and this 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 super here just got put on here a week ago not much going on here There is cabbage palm coming in, which is sable palm, we call it, us Florida crackers call it swamp cabbage, and here's a full frame of it, I mean it's slap full, I mean slap full guys. see what the frame next to it this is a newer frame here okay it looks like we got a swarm cell right here right there I'm not gonna do nothing with it They swarm, they swarm. Yeah. Not gonna worry about it.
I'm not seeing any eggs in here, guys. They're, they're nervous. The quantity of bees in this hive is down. That's why I didn't chew them towels up so quick. So yeah. So they may have already swarmed. These girls may have already swarmed. So anyway, we're going to reassemble this. Leave this cell alone. I'll mark it on the tops, uh, queen cell, uh, the date today, and uh, we'll come back and check it accordingly. We're going to put add more towels in the last round of towels next week, and we can play peekaboo then. But with a ripe cell like that, it was almost capped. That cell didn't see but one of them. Let's move along. Yeah, this colony was the reason I added this box here a week ago was they were just boiling over and this was completely topped out this box there was a little bit of elbow room downstairs but one or two frames and uh so anyway seemed like i re i recall i robbed a frame of eggs out of here to add to another colony and there's a possibility i robbed that queen usually i can find my queens pretty fast but sometimes i screw up guys can you imagine that? Steve-O screwing up. Okay, guys, I'm on my last one for the day. Before we have a heat stroke. Um, yeah, so any of the colonies that a uh, pretty good amount of bees in them, they've chewed the towels com about completely up, or, or pretty much, pretty much. It's been a week. So, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm going to put a towel here, towel here, and the barns I put in, beetle barns I put in, they're still in good shape. I, I don't see many, I don't see many uh, uh, beetles, that many beetles. And you're, usually they're the last to roll into Dodge after you're just completely hammered with mites. I think their nose smells this colony shutting down, and then they come in. To go ahead and check it out totally yeah and then of course we have a foul up of uh, wax moth to come in after that found one die out i had one die out sitting right there i've got the frames over there quite a bit of honey in them wax moth are already pounding the crap out of them that's fine uh, i'm gonna let our yard bees rob it out then i'm gonna take those frames in put them in the freezer freeze them and then run, run my spatula across them and then my wire buffing wheel across that and then we will roll a new coat of wax off wax wax on and put them back in production okay so yeah we got this little hive here cooking let me see if i got anything special on the top i don't see anything special dates on the top let's go peep they pick boo downstairs here They're starting and she's laying really good in here. Very good. A lot of black drones. Yeah, this queen here, she's coming along. I don't see her in here. We're not gonna hunt for her, but look at the black drones, guys. What's that Caucasian? I've got a lot of I've got a lot of mixed breed mutts in this yard. So yeah. This colony's coming along nice. 
So anyway, I will see you guys on the next one. Be happy, be strong, and keep getting it on. Get out here, but watch the heat now. I don't want you to get hurt out here. I got half this yard done. There's always tomorrow, guys. There's always tomorrow. And that's when I'll wrap this project. Got one more day. Ain't going to hurt a thing on this yard. I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye.